Hello my friends. I'm going to be doing a swipe today on this 8 by 24 inch canvas. I want to do kind of a um, shoreline, beachy looking pour. I'm using Artist Loft ready mix pour paints, but I have extended them with a glue and Floetrol mix, which I will detail down below. But I find when I um, extend them like that and add a little bit of uh, silicone to my swipe color, I get really nice cells, and I love the look. It looks very watery to me, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using basically these three colors, aqua, turquoise, and thalo blue, and then I have um, mixed them, added to them uh, white uh, to lighten the aqua. I think I used the thalo straight from, well not straight from the bottle again, I extended them, but I didn't add anything to that color. This is Thalo with white. This is the turquoise. This was, I'm not sure. It may have been the turquoise with white, but it was too close to the aqua, which I added white to. So I think I added some of the Thalo. Anyway, you can mix and mix and match, and it's a lot of fun to come up with your custom colors. In fact, my sand area, I mixed with these paints. I used red and green. I mixed about equal parts. Anytime you mix complementary colors, half and half, you get a brown of some kind. Um, it was too greenish. It had green cast to it because this green is more powerful than the red. So then I added a little more red, a bit of yellow to warm it up, and then a lot of white. And this is what I came up with. So with a little experimentation, you can mix any color at all. You don't have to buy a tube of everything known to man. So those are my colors. And then I've mixed up just some white and added three drops of silicone. This is about two and a half ounces of mix. So, and my swipe tool is going to be this um, notebook page divider. Because it's wide enough and it's uh, gives me nice contact all the way across. Push up my sleeves and get to work here. I think I've mixed plenty of paint. So here we go. Um, I think I'll start with the sandy area, and here's the consistency. It's a little, a little on the thick side, but not terribly thick. <laughs> I think that'll be sufficient, and now I'll add the blues and then I'll uh, tilt it around to get coverage before I swipe. I'm just going to do this. Before I forget, I'm going to add some of this white with the silicone, um, which is my swipe, right next to this sandy thing because maybe then I'll get a little bit of a, a foamy water look. As you know, by the time you get down here, it's uh, thinning out and you don't have that much left, but this will give a little, a little boost and hopefully get the look I'm hoping for. But remember to put these out of the way so when I <laughs> come back this way, I won't run into anything. One of the art groups I belong to has an event 
not until next spring, but uh, never too early, called uh, where the submissions are to be water is the theme. So I thought this would be a fun and uh, simple thing to do. If I like it, I may go really big with it, but uh, this is a good size to experiment on. Now the dark, the darkest blue, the phthalo. Go a little heavier with it up at this end here. Okay. Fill in the gaps maybe with this light aqua. Might as well pour all this out because I'm not going to Don't have enough to do anything else with, so I might as well get make it easy for myself now. Okay, now I'm going to tilt side to side a little bit. Okay. white. Oops, I'll move this out of the way. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So again, this has silicone in it, just the white. Here we go. Getting good contact all the way across with the swipe thing and slowly down we go. And oh, look at those delicious little cells. Yeah, see how I'm losing my white, so um, hopefully this will work down here where it picks it back up. There we go. Kind of lift, lightening my swipe even more there. Not very, not very pretty there, but this is lovely. But I'm gonna tilt and move it around and see what we get. So, clean that off. Okay. 
maybe I should have lifted and then just not dragged any of the blue down there. But I'm going to tilt it around. Oh gosh, that's so pretty up there. That's nice, but I, I don't like that blue in there. In fact, I think I will add some white and swipe it again. Pretty much used up the sand color, but here we go. Need to make that straight because my my this is straight. Okay, here we go. Okay. A little bit's okay. All right, I'll let that percolate a minute and then I'm gonna tilt it around, get rid of that straight line. I needed that because of the where I wanted to place the swipe tool, but I don't want a, a line like that in the, in the final analysis. So. Here we go. Stretch those cells and get some movement in this thing. I'm sorry, I gotta see what I'm doing. You're, you're not able to see, but I have to go this way. There we go. Okay. I think I like it. I think I'm happy with it. Let me uh, bring you in for a closer look at it. I don't expect the cells to uh, change much after this. I found that they don't grow like um, other other mediums, other paints, but uh, it'll pretty much stay like this. So let's take a look. I'll we'll start up here. Swipe in some very, very pretty blues. Look at those lovely cells. I'm very happy. Now they got a little bigger here because I ran out of the a lot of the white, wasn't really carrying through. But then this area where I added the white. And you know, I don't mind a little bit of blue in there now. I think it actually makes the white stand out a little more. That lace seems quite lovely. And it's no longer a, just a straight line. I'm quite happy with it. I think it could be hung either vertically or horizontally. to call this one a success my friends okay thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time Let me go over here because this is the, probably the prettiest part <laughs> bye now <laughs>